tell you, if, if, if my daughter was here, we would be taking Cassidy home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it, it's Me too. Uh, an incredible story. I got to tell you, uh, I went on to YouTube this morning and I watched the video of when Cassidy was a little kitten. Yeah. And then you had that series of, you know, three weeks, nine weeks and all. Oh. I know, just right? Up my heart <laughs> oh, be, I, I've been watching him since she got. I've actually watched Shelley's live feeds before, so I saw all the cats that she brought in before, and then when she brought in Cassidy, I was like, oh my god, yeah. I was tears bawling. I couldn't stop watching him. I watched him like probably like eight hours a day, Cash. So Shelley, <laughs> tell us a little bit about how Cassidy came into your life and uh, what you're doing for her. Well, him. we... Him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Uh-oh, now look. Now you're going to get the man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we have been uh, working with feral cats, a feral cat colony out in Langley, with about 200 cats. And uh, we rescued him from this feral cat colony when he was about nine weeks old. And when we rescued him, he was missing both of his back legs mm -hmm. below the knee. Oh, and that must broke your heart. Oh, it was, it was, I had never seen Yikes. anything like yeah. it. And for him to have actually survived for nine weeks without his legs, know. and he was starving, and he had terrible infections, and there was just something special about him, um, because no other cat would have survived those kinds of circumstances. Yeah, so wh where was he friends? when he was going, you know, for, for the nine weeks? He was in the forest. Just in, out yeah. in the woods? Yeah. yeah, yeah. His mom took care of him for, you know, what, when he was just a baby. Yeah. And then um, as he got older and she started weaning, then he couldn't find food on his own and he was just slowly starving to death. And how do you think that happened? Do you think that maybe the umbilical cord wrapped around his legs or? Yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're thinking. Yeah, it definitely happened after he was born. And sometimes, unfortunately, the, the moms, you know, when they're just trying to get the umbilical cord untangled oh, yeah. and everything, they'll chew through whatever's in their way. And yeah. if it was around his legs, then they were just sort of. So your, your, your journey with him, uh, you know, visually I saw it till, I, I'm not sure how many weeks you, <laughs> that video went to, but you taught him how to, to walk. You taught him uh, without his high, uh, rear legs. Mm -hmm. You taught him how to play. He scoots around, right? Yeah. He does, he does, yeah. yeah he, um, he's needed a lot of physical therapy. And yeah. the, the end goal is obviously to give him the best possible quality of life. And so we're working with a really amazing vet out in North Carolina who is pioneering um, the, the field of implants, yeah. these sort of amazing. bionic implants. And, so and they're like gonna, blades or something? Yeah, like yeah. We're hoping, we're hoping that we can, we can make him some sort of blades like the runners have um, awesome. that will give him back yeah. the mobility that he lost. And he'll be the well. first cat, apparently, that will have the blades? Well, okay. there, there is a cat in the UK who has something similar, and um, there's, a, there's a cat in Iowa that just got, you know, something similar, but there's not going to be anything exactly like Cassidy's out there. So, How yeah. old is Cassidy? He is uh, about nine months old now. Oh, oh. he's only nine yeah. months. He's still a baby. Oh. <laughs> He's, I love the, the video of him on the Roomba, your oh, vacuum. Yeah. He gets around and goes to the tree, and then he gets back on and goes to the couch and everything. He's it's clever. Really, did you see that video of him no, on the vacuum? I haven't. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you. The, right. That one was <laughs> tough enough for me to look. But I know, right? When you showed yeah. him, when he was kind of hopping around, it yeah. made me smile. Okay. I know. Yeah. Oh, it's so oh, sad. He's and so cute. He makes yeah. a lot of people smile. He does. And you have other, because you've taken other cats that are pregnant, yes. right? And yes. you, you film them live on live stream. Right. And uh, shows them giving birth. I watched, like I told you, I should have been working, but I was watching like eight hours of these kitties being born, which yeah. I had not seen kitties oh, being born. Oh, you in the studio? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> some other place. But I never I never realized how hard it is for the moms, yeah. you know, really to give birth. And I was quite shocked. So it watching that, it's, it's very addicting. And it's it's that. also, it's great for kid, uh, parents who want to show their kids the miracle of birth. Yeah. And people also who want their cats to have kittens to see how hard it is. How hard it is. It's not as easy you as know, people it's not. think it is. No. So, yeah, do you, so do you find homes for the kittens? Yes. Mm -hmm. For all of them? Yeah. Yourself? Mm -hmm. Through your organization? Your organization is... Yeah, tinykittens.com. Tiny tinykittens.com. Tiny yep. tiny so yes. if you want to find out more information, go on to tinykittens.com yes. and find out more information. So you take in these uh, these cats that have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you help them through. 
uh, yeah. through uh, the pregnancy and, and, yeah. and the kittens to a certain age. And she, takes, she has, like, age. gets no sleep some nights, right? When they're birthing and you're <laughs> right. up, like, all night and yeah. you want to make sure the kitties are okay. And yeah, and we have so many people watching that yeah. I want to make sure that each cat is getting the proper care and responsible care because people learn from us how to take care of their own cats. Yeah. And so I don't ever want to miss anything or let anything slip. And so we try to give them the best possible care and come up with new ways and better ways and more compassionate ways of caring for these lost and forgotten cats. Now, now people are watching through you. You've got it hooked up through live stream. Live, live stream. stream. Yeah. And yes. so you, you, you hook it up and, and they can watch everything that goes on and even the kittens. Live. Yeah. Uh, born. Like I watched them. Born and then yeah. after. Birth to yeah. adoption. Birth yeah. to adoption. Yeah, you send yeah. in the forms and you, you pretty, you scrutinize people, right? Yes. Because they're like your babies pretty much, yes. right? Yes. Which is great. You yeah. Know, honestly, you want to make sure. And like she adopts them because people watch around the world. Yeah. I mean, she has people around the world Cash that How many the viewers? Lives. Oh well, it depends. Uh, I think we have between maybe a thousand and two thousand a concurrent concurrent like at the same at time, any given time, time during time, the day, yeah. and it goes down to maybe five hundred overnight. Okay. Depending. Yeah, but, but millions of people watch. It's it's amazing the outreach that I mean, live stream like that on kitties. I hadn't seen that until like. I guess maybe two years ago when those dumpster kitties yes. were found, remember, because I was in news, and we were reporting on it, broke my heart. I, yeah. uh, and of course, all of a sudden they announced that, oh, you can watch on live stream, and that was your live stream with those kitties, right. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. See, and everybody watched, and everybody wanted to come adopt them, right? So yeah. there was like thousands and thousands of people that wanted to adopt, like what, how many, 10 kitties? Yeah. It? You yeah. know, but uh, that's how I discovered you, and then I was watching, so, and then so I wanted a kitty. So that's how the two of you met. <laughs> well, we actually never met in person. No, no. it was the first, the time. first time. Yeah, yeah. No, really? I've just yeah. been watching Shelly and seeing everything that she's been doing and the amazing work that she does. I mean, she's been all over. Like, she was on Global. She's been on Shelly, every the way she thing. talked about you, I, <laughs> I thought for sure you best were your best for years. <laughs> well, I've been watching, so... Coming from TV background myself, yeah. people feel like they know you, yeah. right? So they see me in my pajamas in the middle of the so, night and yeah. crying and laughing and yes. Why? Yeah. Why? You know, obviously, I, you know, I know some of the reasons why, and I see mm -hmm. how passionate you are uh, to, you know, with these uh, precious <laughs> animals. <laughs> uh, what, what, what attracted you? What prompted you to do everything that you're doing on this right now? Well, I started just volunteering and fostering cats and I saw how hard it was to get them adopted and how there are just so many opportunities to raise awareness that aren't being um, utilized. utilized. Yeah. And I have a background in computer programming so for me technology is this, yeah. a strength and so you it just made first. sense yeah. to use my technology background to promote uh, animal rescue and to help raise awareness and my sort of long-term goal is to raise the value of feral cats and you know the, the most underserved population of cats that's the greatest mm -hmm. contributor to overpopulation to, yeah. to raise awareness about them tell their stories help people understand their individuals and they have value and they're worth saving yeah because I've watched some of the feral cats and it's amazing how like you said they turn around yeah and all of a sudden now they're living in a home when they've been feral their whole lives but we have it's misunderstood that they can actually love humans right when usually they're afraid of humans so i've seen that side which is quite amazing what you do as well i mean she does everything not just uh, take care of this lovely little kid here <laughs> she does tons i mean you have at your home I guess mm -hmm. in the basement or something, a few rooms where you have the kitties. Right. Right now we're lucky to be across the street. Um, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a bit challenging to have 24-7 cameras and audio oh and all God. that. And make sure it's going down and, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, sure it's, okay. it's nice to be across the street for now. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite hectic. There's a, a lot going on at any given time. And there's no end to the number of cats and kittens in need out there. So, yeah. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about Cassidy and going forward uh, with Cassidy because it's, yeah. you know, you, you've talked about 3D. Uh, the 3D printing, printing wheelchair. wheelchair yeah. And various things like that. But there's, uh, you know, again, we'll just touch on what the future holds up for yeah. Cassidy. Coming uh, up after the break, more with Shelly Roche and the lovely Leah Live on Pulse FM. It's still live. <laughs> My turn. Oh, say hi. You keep oh, hiding. Are you camera oh. shy? Are you camera shy? He's, he's, um, he still has his feral 
his little feral background <laughs> instincts. Yeah. instincts. Yeah, so he, he definitely loves me. He, he gets a little nervous around me people, and, and especially new people. Yeah, like my, my but that's when the, anyone comes over from the stairs yeah. But that's just like kids. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, <laughs> yeah. like when they're in a yeah. new situation. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He needs to get used to, used to it because he has to go to the vets and everything so much. And so. you have um, an Bunny and Barty? Yes, and, yeah. and the Deli and Pantsaroo. And Pantsaroo. <laughs> and they yeah. get along. I've watched some of their interactions and how he goes and tries to make friends with them. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love how you get to pick all the names. I know. Oh, right? <laughs> right? It's just like I keep choosing baby names. I can't have that many babies, but like, these cats. I know, the naming is fun. The fun. Yes. You're so cute. Oh, he's a good boy. I agree, Tammy. He is a mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're up after this commercial. Okay. What a cutie. Oh. Hi, guys. If anyone's watching from Time Kittens, hello. They are. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Me too. I know, he's very adorable. 10.45, welcome back. Well, we're joined by Leah, Shelley, and Cassidy. Now, Cassidy, you've tried various uh, apparatuses to get that cat uh, Cassidy as mobile as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, you've tried the, uh, the, the wheelchair, wheelchair, 3D wheelchair. 3D yeah. wheelchair. I've uh, seen you holding his back yeah. leg. I, I've yeah. seen, yeah, and I, I, I've <laughs> seen that. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen, you know, Cassidy drag himself yes. uh, to yeah. uh, on, on his back legs. What uh, What's coming up next? Leah talked a little bit about that earlier, but just, you know, explain what you have planned for him and the, the attention, the recognition he's getting worldwide because of this. Mm -hmm. Well, we are working with Dr. Marcel and Little out at uh, NC State Vet School, and he is pioneering the field of, it's called osseointegrated uh, implants which is basically a, a permanent prosthetic implant that gets attached to his bone and then wow. comes out and replaces the missing part of his leg. Um, and what's really cool about this is that the technology that they're developing is not only going to help cats and dogs, uh, but also it's, it's helping humans in the future too. Wow. So uh, it's really important work that, that he's doing out there and um, Cassidy, will benefit from it and also will help advance the field so we're other pretty kitties. excited about it yeah because yeah. so another kitty has his wheelchair originally the yeah one that he got from yeah somebody else the smaller one right so it's you know it, it gives it goes on right so he's the another kitty has his original wheelchair and now he's in a new right. one right so because they don't make mobility yeah, aids for it's tiny expensive for kittens because and they're it's euthanized not so easy yeah. yeah and there just aren't there's not a market for for it really so so you have to travel to where for this North uh, Carolina procedure? to North Carolina yeah. now how are, uh, how are you finding uh, the, the, the money for this or to take care of the cats that you take She's care amazing of That's good. yeah yeah there there is a really supportive community that helps to um, you know when we bring in a cat that needs help they step up and help and um, you know, I've pitched in some money for him, and um, we have some some other people who are who might be willing to help with the actual surgery. And so, um, we're very very fortunate to have such a great community. We call it the tiny village, the tiny village, the tiny village. So, <laughs> Shelley, if people want to contribute to the work yeah, that we're doing, where, yeah, well, how can they find out more about it? Is it at tinykittens.com? Yeah, tinykittens.com. Uh, we're on facebook.com/tinykittens. And uh, you can donate on our website. We're a nonprofit society, and um, so you can learn everything you need to learn at tinykittens.com. Yeah, you can read. She has a whole big write-up and of all the cats and everything. And and I remember originally watching it too with Marvel. Oh yeah. Oh, I fell in love with it. He had oh, a yeah. cleft nose and palate. And yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She one of the cats that she had was giving birth and it had a cleft nose and and lip. So then she had to bottle feed him all the time. And he looks so cute, though. Like, I fell in love with him. I know yeah. everybody else fell in love he with him. He was very special. That must have been hard for you to give him up, hey? Oh, it's always yeah. hard. It's always hard. I but couldn't do it. Like, I, I'd love to do what you do. I would just keep them all, so I'd have, like, 2,000 cats. I know. I would. Yeah, I would. I would. Don't Nothing, judge me. Yeah. Not if there's anything wrong with that. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think Cassidy is going to react to that? Because uh, the little fella, you know, nine months old, his entire life, he, he, 
you know, he's been without his his back legs. Mm -hmm. When you pick him up, when you put him in the wheelchair and all that, do you see him light up a bit? Is he is he uh, yeah. is he happier? Uh, it's it's interesting because he he when he first got his wheelchair he loved it because he hadn't been able to move at all and so he was very frustrated and this g it gave him an outlet and then as he got stronger and he was able to scoot on his own then he hated the wheelchair because it it held him back and now I just got him a, a newer bigger wheelchair and uh, he he is With actually the camo. liking it I yes saw the camo, it's the camo edition <laughs> so he can be stealthy. <laughs> and um, he he is enjoying that. He's sort of getting used to it, but I think it's it's nice because it corrects his posture, and um, so he he's very his needs change on almost a daily basis sometimes, and so yeah. just trying to keep up with that and make sure that he's happy and living a really good life, even during this this phase is. Well, well, now I someone ask like you, you, Carrie, he's living a, a, oh, a really good he's, life. He's, he's pretty so happy. happy. Yeah. Are you planning on keeping him? Oh, I knew you I know, you mad. I, know. I, I have to know for myself. <laughs> well, I mean, he's been with me for seven months now, and we've yeah. been through a lot together, so I think it would be pretty hard to yeah. find Absolutely. him the right, the perfect home. No, there is no perfect you, home. No, I yes, there is. is the perfect home. Well, that's yeah. the thing. There is a perfect home. There's no other yeah, place. The, the second perfect yeah. home is Leah's. Yes, yes, I can be the auntie. Yeah, auntie yeah. Leah. I'll take him when you yeah. have to go away. <laughs> Around other cats and you know other uh, domestic type animals, what's he like? Well, it's funny because he didn't learn the usual cat things when he was growing up, when he was a baby, because he couldn't interact with his litter mates the same mm -hmm. way that that other kittens would. And so he, uh, I integrated him with my three cats. And he just has the most inappropriate cat behavior. <laughs> yeah, he tries to make it. friends by running up and biting their faces and then really hard. Swatting them and running away. Just really, just like a little brother, like a little friend. Little brother. pest. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But they're very tolerant with him, and he's sort of learning manners. They're teaching him manners slowly, but he <laughs> he sort of cute. missed that phase in his in yeah. his life. And they're tuxedo cats too. Yeah, well, right? they match. So they match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And does, do they n notice that there's any difference with him? Like, do they notice, or is it like, I eh, whatever? I don't I think so. I think one of the cats in particular likes when he chases him, so he'll run by really fast, but then he stops and waits for him to catch up, and oh, then he'll just run cute. off again. So I think they're, I think they, they they're aware. I think they're doesn't. aware, but it doesn't make a difference to them. Yeah, they just go with it. Oh, and they don't judge. <laughs> so now. What I wanted to ask you was, uh, when is what is the next step, sir? When do you go back to North Carolina? I know you've been doing rehab with his right. stumps, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, because you said there's some bone fragments I remember reading, and, yeah. and that's kind of an issue, I imagine, right, as he continues to sort of walk on his... Yeah, yeah. Legs. We're hoping, we're talking uh, now about, we're talking through the design process, and... Um, mm -hmm. And it, it probably will take another month to several months to get all the yeah. different pieces in place. They have to specially design and make each individual tiny screw, and that takes okay. a while. And, and he's growing quite still. A, he's right. he's so. growing a little bit. He should be mostly grown by now, but I think yeah. his development, or his growth at least, was delayed because he was so malnourished. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if he's ever going to catch up completely, but um, he, he has grown actually 17 percent since January. <laughs> so uh, a question from one of our listeners is uh, how does he use the litter? Oh uh, yeah, actually I get question. that question a lot. It's a good question. Yeah. Um, uh, he lifts his back end over and steps in on his two feet wow. and then he just sort of balances. And so he figured it out himself. He did. Yeah. He did. You, you didn't have to tra train him to do that? He just... Well at the... You trained him to use the litter. You probably held him. Yeah in, in the beginning he had... he he was a disaster back there because it hurt so bad for oh, him to go and yeah. so um, it took some time and I had to you know modify litter boxes and make him stuff that was accessible and all of that so yeah. I have you know a series of like ramps that go up and <laughs> and he gets stuff stuck on, yeah, on his him mom, and yeah. so these little trails <laughs> <laughs> well, my kitties do that but anyway so. yeah yeah so no, we just have to you just have to kind of adapt to what his needs are and but he, he's actually very good about using the litter box well, so and it's just it's natural to him now. Yeah, yeah, and at the beginning, the the ER vets t thought that he had a neurological condition and wasn't able to go to the bathroom, oh. which would have been a very different story. But yeah. um, 
Luckily, it was just, just he was just in so much pain yeah. that once we treated the pain, he was... And how is he for pain now? Like, do you have even medication at all throughout the day no. when you do rehab on... Occasionally, I do. Like, when he had his procedure to have the little bone fragment removed, he gets yeah. pain meds after that, of course. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's happy trooper, and he's hey? tough, and I think he's just so happy to be alive. He wanted so badly to live Aww. that yeah. um, he, he seems... He just lives each day to the fullest. Well, it's amazing well, it, that it, he's is, it, I, I'm himself. just going to say, it's almost a miracle. It is. That yeah. it, and that you came along. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's true. And, you know, the will that the little guy has, and yeah, yeah, he's, totally he's just, he, he's not going anywhere. No. Uh, he's just going to cuddle right in know, with you right now. You know, yeah. He just so loves cute. that. He knows we're talking about him now, I know, now he's yeah. there. Yeah, now he's there. <laughs> oh, mommy. And, yeah. and well, Shelly does. You do the um, trap spay and new and yep. neuter and, and trap, return, return, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that that's how she originally oh, saw okay. him. Oh, okay. Yeah. They go up to the forest. They call it the forest, right? <laughs> the happy and forest. And then they yep. so it doesn't spread because overpopulation is just insane in BC, right? Surrey, Langley, it's really yeah. bad because people let their pe their cats roam around and they're not fixed. And what what are they doing, right? And then they come back home and they've already impregnated probably three or four. Of, Women cats, girl cats, right? And it's sad because mine are fixed, and I would mine don't even go outside. Yeah, mine are indoor cats. There's well, no way I'm letting them outside. There's been you some know, movement even. in the past from the SPCA and some of the veterinarian associations to mm -hmm. to, to to go in that direction, but you don't hear yeah. that. Uh, it should be mandatory. Well, then I guess you wouldn't have more kitties, but it should be you should be responsible about it, right? At least don't let your cats out without knowing how far they're going, or you know, kind of try and keep tabs on them, and don't let them out all the time. I think if you have a male cat, they should be fixed if you're they're indoor and outdoor, I think, right? Because then they yeah, can impregnate they, so many They cats. all need to be spayed and neutered. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, you Feral cats are very good at being invisible. Yeah. And so he, this the colony he came from has more than 200 cats in it. Wow. And the neighbors are shocked because they'll see a cat occasionally. But, but they have no idea them. there are 200 yeah. cats back there. And if wow. we hadn't come in when we did, mm -hmm. there would be 400, 500, 600. I mean, it would be incredible. It's exponential. It's amazing what one mung cat, how many mm -hmm. litters she can have and then it spreads and it spreads. It's just crazy. Like how many feral cats that are running around that we are not taking care of. But I know you guys do a great job. You bring food to them and stuff. We do. Right? We feed yeah. them daily and we bring in the injured ones and take care yeah. of them. I we saw the cat with, the, with yeah. her eye. She's blind in one eye and she gave birth too. She did. Yeah. She had to have an emergency C-section yeah. so she would have died out there in the oh, forest. See, exactly. She would have died and so we're And nobody knows. Nobody sees the stuff going on, no. so it's not as big of a concern. No, that's why we need to get it out in the so community. So this is in one, uh, one part of a community in Langley? Yeah, yeah, it's on one property. It's a rural property, and a lot of farmers like having cats around for rodent control. Yes, yeah, yes. Really nice and, uh, but it's got not a hand. Well, yeah, th there are kind of two schools of thought. One is um, they call it the farmer's solution, which is a, not exactly a humane way to oh. control the cat. The cats when they get you know overpopulated, oh, I don't want to hear this. and um, and then th this property owner is is very compassionate and didn't do that, That's and then good. so then the the consequence of that is tons of cats. So, but he's been great about letting us you know he wants to help the cats and That's so. That's great. That's yeah. nice that there are people out there. Right oh yeah, there, you know. So, so he's been great, and we're super happy to be working with him and getting his cats spayed and neutered. And yeah, so then they don't, you know. Yeah. It's amazing how they can breed. And I mean, we're in kitty season now, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. It's crazy that yeah, how many kitties are brought, and especially into laps and stuff like that, too, right? Because right? Right. that's where I got my kitty, one of my kitties. That's awesome. Like the Animal Protection Society. So <laughs> oh, that's how I, I, I discovered you. I know. I'm not coming home with a cat. 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 Her little beagle. Everybody loves a kitten. And, and and two kittens. The little guy gets along with a cat. And this oh. is another cat. He's got an abnormality. Uh, yes. uh, the, the cat doesn't have a tail. I don't know him. Oh, well, my cat's I have a thing. So they have a tiny, she has a tiny yeah. little tail, so maybe it's a Manx. And, one, yeah. you know, they're, they're best friends. They yeah. go and lie oh. in the sun together oh. when he has to stay over at, uh, at uh, Shelly's house and, and <laughs> Shelly too. Yeah. And, you know, again, two cats, but uh, that's great. Uh, listen, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. Leah, thank you. Yes. I, no, I, thanks I for having no us. Idea you two just met today. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You're almost like sisters. <laughs> and the way she was talking about I know. Show. I've told, so, I mean, when I was at my other station, everybody knew about you, and they <laughs> watched excellent. me watch kitties being born, so there you go. <laughs> well, Leah, you've got some work to do, though. You, yeah. You're taking the show till 3 o'clock yes. this afternoon. Exactly. So uh, busy, busy. Let's take some pictures with uh, Shelly Absolutely. and Cassidy, and then... Uh, you're on the mic till 3 o'clock <laughs> this afternoon. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you on Monday. This is PulseFM.ca.
Okay. I'm gonna play some clips on my show. Oh, awesome. Well. Sure. Is my yes, show music? Yeah, so, but yeah. Then can you say hi to everybody? Like, no, we can be say hi, so everybody. Oh. Hi. What a cutie. Hello. And Say hi. And hi. And then we're going to oh. say, say, it's time to say bye-bye. Say bye, everybody. Oh, <laughs> he, look, he's ready. Oh, and he's